following the previous video concerning Iapetus, the moon of Saturn, and that it could be artificially made by extraterrestrials because of the ridge that is found on it, it's as if it's a welding holding two pieces of uh, half balls together. And it's the only thing found in our solar system that looks so artificially constructed. We come to a UFO the size of planet Earth seen hovering near Saturn. Yet again, Saturn. The mysteries of Saturn. What is this UFO the size of planet Earth seen hovering over Saturn? This is on collective evolution. And uh, we continue. Uh, this is by Arjun Walia again. Pictures of NASA. We got back from Voyager mission to Saturn in 1980 were apparently so mind-altering that they locked them up. At least that's what retired U.S. Army Commander Sergeant Major Bob Dean said in his lecture. You can find the link here below. He also showed numerous photographs from the Apollo missions that were never released to the public. And you can view some of those images here as well. And multiple governments, like Russia, have been calling for the international investigation investigations to where images and photographs and footage and moon rocks disappeared to as well. The pictures here do not come from Dean. It comes from This picture comes from one of his close friends, Berggren. Dr. Berggren played a critical role in Russia's Voyager program, and we can see his obituary in the link here below. And we talk about Dr. Berggren in the previous video. Now, what is this picture of? It's a luminous source, quote unquote, a luminous source that comes from Berggren's book, The Ringmakers of Saturn. And it's amazing because he says the rings of Saturn are constructed by some kind of an artificial craft. Otherwise, they wouldn't be there. But uh, that's something else. He had to go through a lot of trouble to publish it and, he, and had to leave the country in order to do so, as Dean explained in the lecture. The book is now extremely rare and costs thousands of dollars, even if you find it. According to Berggren, there are several large craft proliferating, quote-unquote, out around Saturn and its moons. His book goes into much greater detail, and although it's hard to find and costs thousands of dollars, the link is online here. According to Dean, you can see the link here, the, according to Dean, Berggren got frustrated later in life that the decision was made not to tell the public what they had photographed at Saturn. Previous articles here, long-time NASA scientist blows the whistle on tall black extraterrestrial beings, describes Berggren exposing the existence of what he calls extraterrestrial vehicles, quote-unquote, that were responsible for making the rings around Saturn. In his book, Norman makes it clear a clear point to emphasize that these objects have probably been around much longer than we have. He also states that if there was any ill intent towards our planet, something probably would have happened by now. And there is a reason that these objects, which he states are intelligently controlled, not by us, of course, have not come in close proximity to our planet. By coming closer than they already are, they may and already probably do have some effects on our own weather. This is something Norman also mentions in his book. So this is another reason that uh, some, of us, some people believe that Saturn's moons could be artificially made simply because of the presence of these giant vehicles, as Berggren calls them. And uh, now what's the conclusion to this? Uh, writing about to extraterrestrials, it's always encouraging to, uh, to encourage others to think about the implications of contact or realization that we are not alone and never have been alone, and the extraterrestrials, we're talking about space aliens. Hypothesis uh, as an explanation of UFO phenomena is valid for many reasons because it's the one that seems to hold the most evidence. And at the end of the day, our planet Earth is well-being. Its well-being is what we really need to focus on, perhaps looking at Earth from an extraterrestrial perspective ourselves, if we could all beam up in spaceships, we could perhaps change the way we look at the planet and ourselves as a human race. Perhaps this greater realization may contribute 
to a big change in perspective that we need right now in order to change our world. And who knows, implications touch all aspects of humanity we can imagine. This is on collective evolution. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.